This is psychic medium Danielle Garcia, and this is your energy forecast for the week. Today is September 20th. Yes, I do know. It has been a very long time since I've done an energy forecast. Unfortunately, um, shoulder surgery set me back a little bit longer than what I expected to be. So as you can see, we have a new background going on. I'm trying a few new things. So hopefully the quality of recording will be good. If not, let me know and I will try my best to switch it up. Last I checked, the Schumann resonance is currently vibing at a 40. Spiking, yes, but these spikes begin to become more and more normal, right? If there is anything such as normal anymore. Um, also here within the last few hours, we have received some alerts from Space Weather Live about some CMEs that have been released which are indicative of solar flares and solar storms coming to us within the next three days. So what does that mean for you? Well, sometimes when we have these solar storms, um, different things can happen. It can interrupt satellites, it can interrupt internet, it can interrupt um, radio frequencies, all sorts of different things. And then how we as empaths and sensitives can be affected by that as well is it can really mess with our neurological system, our cardiovascular system, our central nervous system, and even our reproductive system. If you're interested in looking any of that up, I would definitely suggest doing some research um, about this. Uh, U.S. is not so much into this as I've noticed as European countries, Italy, um, Canada has also done some great extensive research in how energy affects the human body. And also I have seen some other um, interesting research come from Japan. So feel free to look that up. It's interesting also that not only does the solar storms and or not only do the solar storms and geomagnetic activity affect us, um, but there's also extensive um, studies done in how the Schumann resonance affects us as well. So Google away. Um, all I know beyond the research that's out there, as, as an empath, I can definitely feel stuff when things begin to change in the universe. And knowing these different things is helpful to me. I look at it as a kind of like a weather report. You know, if I look on my weather app and it says, you know, 70% chance of rain, I'm going to carry an umbrella. I might choose a different route to go in town because there's lots of places around my side of town where it floods. So knowing that these different things are coming, take heed in that and decide maybe you're not going to get into that argument. Maybe you're not going to choose to be put in that stressful situation. Maybe you will choose to take some extra time to meditate, to get away, to Take time for yourself. So let's take a look for, at the rest of the week. Today is the full moon in Pisces. Lots and lots and lots of emotions are hitting hard. Um, this promises to be an extra emotional full moon. So if you're usually triggered by full moon vibes, count on this one hitting a little bit harder. Lots of vulnerability coming through, extra sensitivity, and high alert for feeling all the feels. Now, again, if we know these things, it's our opportunity to step back, to clear, to release, and to prepare. Um, creativity and intuition will be running strong today. It's a good time for tapping into spirit and being in the flow. Today's moon is also known as the harvest moon, and it makes way for the fall equinox. So keeping that in mind, what are you cultivating in your life right now? What are you focusing your energy on? Is that positive or is it negative? That saying we reap that which what that we reap what we sow definitely holds true. So if your mind is down in the gutter of despair, then more despair might come forward. 
if you're just hanging out there for a little while because you got a vent and release and sort some stuff out and you pop back up again, then good for you. My mindset is allow yourself to express when those feelings come forward. You don't want to hold on to it and you don't want to vibe there too long. Life is not about being in this, um, that's the word I want to look for, in this sense of taking the higher perspective 24-7 or else we wouldn't be here playing human, right? We want to keep our, bias, our vibe as high as possible, but, you know, there's light and dark duality, so let it rip when you got to let it rip. Uh, the veil is particularly thin today. It's a good time to let go of burdens and setbacks. It's a good time to connect to spirit. It's a great time to connect to your team, partner with them, ask them um, to help and assist you, support and guide you through different things that are going on in your life right now. Don't be surprised if you're seeing lots of, of um, peripheral vision kind of stuff. Because as I said, the veil is thin. You may be getting more paranormal activity than normal. And when I say paranormal activity, that doesn't just refer to dark, low vibe, demonic kind of stuff. Paranormal is above the norm, not being the norm. So that could be seeing your guides. That could be hearing your guardian angel. It could be all sorts of different things. So remember, as the veil is thin, be careful what you're focusing on. Be careful what you're tapping into and make sure that you keep your light um, protected and clear. It's also a great night to create some moon water if that's your thing. Don't forget to clear your crystals before you set them out in the full moon to charge. Wednesday, the autumn equinox comes forward. Now, traditionally, equinox vibes are a time to honor the light and the dark. Um, it's about a different phase. And when I talk about like honoring the dark, it's not worshiping the dark. It's not stepping into the dark side, but it's recognizing that shadow part of us, right? It's, it's recognizing the darkness. It's being able to take a step back and evaluate, okay, what's the lesson in this? What do I have to learn from shadow? What do I have to learn from ego? What do I have to learn from these different negative things that continue to happen to me in my life? What do I have to learn from that relationship that fell through? It's not about, um, again, they're just giving me a ton of words today. <laughs> It's not about trying to equal light to darkness. It's looking at both and seeing what you've learned. What's the lesson? What's the gift in it? You know, when we think of light, we can always go to that place of gratitude and thanksgiving and, um, you know, bright, happy thoughts. But sometimes when we experience darkness in our life, even though that might be a pitfall, even though... It might be a place where we trip and stumble. It actually can be one of the greatest lessons that we go through. So again, what are you harvesting? What are you focusing on? Um, remember, this is a phase. This is moving to a different season. It's a different season of life as well. It's a great time for releasement ceremony. It's a great time for gratitude practice. They can be especially powerful during equinox. Sunday, doo, 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 Mercury in retro comes in and in Libra, no less. So this hits on Sunday and will last until October 18th. Many of us are already feeling the pre-shadow vibes of Mercury retrograde and navigating that can be a little sticky at times. Knowing that Mercury retrograde hits on Sunday, it is also the last Mercury retrograde of 2021, which usually tends to be the most powerful. Look for our standard traditional Mercury retrograde things, such as issues with electronics, um, exes or relationships that you thought you were done with coming back around full circle or Maybe not full circle, but 
definitely hitting you up in your DMs or giving you a text message. Look for issues with contracts and look for like a fluctuation of feelings and lots and lots of highs and lows. Um, or as my guides like to call it, that shit crazy. Um, with Libra's influences, there's a little bit more that comes forward for Mercury retrograde. Um, you'll notice different things going on with balance of um, peace issues, uh, justice issues, more shadow triggers, uh, passive aggressive behaviors coming forward, indecision, and possible uprisings in groups and demonstrations. So there's our report for the week. There's the energy forecast. What will you decide to do with it? It's important to take some time now to breathe, to balance, to take some self-care and to decide what do you wanna do with all of these vibes? Maybe you decide that you wanna just clear shield and protect and cut away and not feel anything. Maybe you decide to push through, embrace it, be in the flow and get as much as possible out of this. Totally up to you. Just remember, it's a free will planet and you get to choose how you feel and you get to choose how you navigate through all of these energies. Have a blessed week and I hope that you are well.